Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajayat TV. <laughs> scholarly meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi during nights of Ramadan. Another session of the scholarly meetings at the house of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom was held during the holy month of Ramadan. During this session, several senior scholars, clerics, and seminarians asked questions on Islamic beliefs, history, and laws. The dear viewers can tune in these scholarly meetings every night at 10.30 p.m. Qom local time, live on Merjayat TV and other Shia TV networks, as well as the Al Shirazi application. Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi continues hosting visitors in Kuwait. Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi, son of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi, continues to meet with various academic and social personalities in Kuwait during the blessed nights of the holy month of Ramadan. Recently, he had a meeting with the members of the Safar family and members of the Muslim bin Aqil Husseiniyah. It is worth mentioning that in the past few days, he has also attended gatherings at the Diwaniyas of the late Haji Habib Khaja and Diwaniyas of Bahman and had meetings with the attendees. Additionally, he has visited the home of the late Haji Ali Ashkanani and met with Haj Ali as Sayyid Ali as part of his recent activities. Sayyid Muhammad Hussein Shirazi visits Majaya TV headquarters in Holy Kabbalah. Sayyid Muhammad Hussein Shirazi, son of the late Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Hussein Shirazi, may he rest in peace, visited the headquarters of Majaya TV network in the Holy City of Kabbalah. During this visit, he met with the officials of this media organization and expressed his appreciation for their efforts in promoting religious teachings through satellite networks. Zainabia Seminary holds scientific seminars in Damascus, Syria. These scientific seminars of Zainabia Seminary, one of the institutions associated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Damascus, Syria, continue during Ramadan. In the fifth and sixth seminars held in the past few days at this scholarly institution, Sayyid Khalaf Jassim and Sayyid Adel Fazl Zadeh discussed the topics of the role of religious education in spiritual growth and the oppressions faced by Imam Hassan Mushtaba, peace be upon him, respectively. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi hosts tribal personalities in Basra, Iraq. The Office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi hosted a tribal delegation led by Sheikh Jafar al-Mahnawi al-Maryani in the city of Basra. During this meeting, the guests discussed various issues related to the tribes with Sheikh Nazar al-Hassan, the director of the Grand Jurist's office. At the end of this conversation, the director of the office expressed appreciation for the efforts of the tribal leaders in promoting self-improvement and self-purification. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi distributes fourth shipment of AIDS to needy in Afghanistan. The Office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi distributed its fourth shipment of humanitarian aid among the needy in the city of Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan, on the 26th of Ramadan, 1444. According to the officials of this office, hundreds of relief packages have been distributed to needy families, orphans, and widows by the Office of the Religious Authority in Mazar Sharif so far. This action was taken in observance of the holy month of Ramadan and in compliance with the recommendations of the religious authority to support those in need. Fasting believers gather at offices of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Madagascar. Centers associated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the city of Mahajanga in Madagascar host the Shia community in this city during the final days of the blessed month of Ramadan in 2023. These centers, on the occasion of approaching the anniversary of the passing of the late religious authority, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Husseini Shirazi, may his soul rest in peace, invite the Shia community to iftar with the aim of creating close connections among the Shia believers. The Ahlul Bayt Center and the Sultan al Muallafin Shia Student Dormitory are among those centers that host dozens of fasting Shia individuals during these days. Activities by Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad. The Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center, among the centers associated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the city of Baghdad, carried out various cultural and religious activities during the blessed month of Ramadan. In line with the recommendations of this team religious authority, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, emphasizing the importance of self-purification and promoting religion during this sacred month, this center organized programs such as scholarly gatherings with the presence of religious personalities, religious and spiritual ceremonies, congregational prayers, recitation of the Holy Quran and supplications of the blessed month of Ramadan. 
PR Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi offers cultural and religious services to pilgrims in Holy Kademiya. The Public Relations Center of the Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Kazamain continues its religious and cultural services to the pilgrims of this sacred city during the blessed month of Ramadan. This center, with the installation of a tent, provides answers to religious questions and addresses their religious and belief-related inquiries. It also distributes cultural products, including the works of the esteemed religious authority, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadeh Husseini Shirazi. Mesbal Hussein Foundation sends food packages to different provinces of Iraq. The Mesbal Hussein Cultural and Charitable Foundation, which is affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Karbala, Iraq, continues its implementation of a large-scale project to distribute 100,000 livelihood packages in various provinces of Iraq during the last 10 days of the blessed month of Ramadan. Dozens of livelihood packages have been distributed to the needy in the city of Kut in Wasit province and the needy in Digar province. This project is carried out annually by this institute and covers several provinces of Iraq. This year, 11 provinces, including Karbala, Najaf, Baghdad, Basra, Digar, Salahuddin, Babylon, Kirkuk, Wasit, Nineveh, and Diyala, benefited from this initiative. Ahlul Bayt Institute hosts delegates from Al Bashair movement in Basra. The Ahlul Bayt Cultural and Charitable Institute, which is affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Basra, Iraq, hosted a delegation from the Al Bashair movement in the blessed month of Ramadan. Sheikh Sadeh Al Basri, the director of this institute, welcomed the guests and talked to them about the joint activities for nurturing educated youth. He also shared some of the recommendations of the esteemed religious authority, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadeh Hosseini Shirazi, regarding the youth and the responsibilities of religious and cultural institutions towards them. Rasul Adam Institute donates food baskets to Nidi in Baghdad. Officials from Rasul Adam Cultural and Charitable Institute, affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Kazamain, announced that families in deprived areas around Baghdad continue to benefit from the food aid packages provided by this institution. In a recent initiative, dozens of additional food aid packages were distributed, were delivered to families residing in these areas as the fourth shipment. These efforts are carried out in accordance with the recommendations of the religious authority during the holy month of Ramadan, aimed at supporting those in need. Sayyid Chuada World Committee constructs first women's Islamic seminary in Kenya. Sayyid Chuada World Committee, a center affiliated with the office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Kuwait, has established the first women's theological school in Kenya to promote education and empower women with the knowledge of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them and the Jafari jurisprudence. With the recent purchase of a land in Nakuru, one of the major cities in Kenya, this committee has initiated the construction of the first women's theological Islamic seminary in the country. This initiative aims to meet the demand for religious and cultural institutions for followers of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them in Africa and reflects the committee's commitment to spreading the teachings of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them to wider audiences. <laughs>